They're frustrated. There have been efforts in the past to remove the dam, but it's still there and being used for recreational purposes. The teen's family says city leaders need to do more to keep families away from the water. It almost feels like just a piece of everybody is missing. Alyssa Malott says that void has not been filled since her 14-year-old brother, Andre Edwards, drowned here on a dam on Silver Creek in New Albany on Memorial Day. A spokesperson for the Indiana Department of Natural Resources says Edwards either slipped and fell off the dam or jumped into the water, became trapped, and died. It felt like a really bad dream. And at any given point, we were just going to wake up. On Monday, loved ones gathered at a new Albany City Council meeting to demand change from city leaders. They expressed frustration and outrage that the mayor had not removed the dam. And there are no signs warning the community of the strength of the water. If it was your child or grandson, would you close the dam? You don't know what I'm going through. City Council President Adam Dickey says a resolution is needed. I think this council and the mayor has previously gone on record with a resolution that illustrates in part that there is a danger to structures like this and calling for um, modifications uh, to that dam. A statement from New Albany Mayor Jeff Gahan says in part the city will continue working on improving the safety at the area, including pursuing improvements like the Rock Arc Dam conversion. We are hopeful that Origin Park officials will understand and see the need to meet to discuss these improvements with us. Malat says she's hoping changes will be made so other families won't have to experience the same heartache. Losing a child is one thing I don't wish upon anybody. Um, let alone just losing a loved one. And I mean, how many more is it going to take for something to get done? City Council President Adam Dickey says it's up to the mayor's administration to decide next steps for what happens to the dam. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Jamie Mays, WLKY News.